Hi everyone, my name is Mike, and I've just completed my first six month filter change on my ice spring water systems RCC7P, and it's with the boost pump. We uh, swapped out the RO system we had originally installed. You can see this is the under sink installation because we're on a well in the country and we had real inconsistent water pressure to this particular faucet. Adding the system with the boost pump has literally made a night and day difference. By the way, because I just switched the system, you can actually hear the pump running. If you can, it's actually very, very quiet. When the cabinet doors are closed, you really can hardly hear it at all. The one thing you'll notice about this installation, since I did replace an existing system, I had a tank left over from the other system, and you can see I actually left that in. We uh, use our RO water for just about everything. Um, everything from our coffee to the refrigerator, ice makers are hooked up to it. Um, you know, anything we cook with. So we use quite a bit and having the two tanks made it uh, real nice. We never lose pressure. But frankly, with the boost pump system, this is a 75 gallon per day system. Um, we've never run out of water or even had low pressure to our faucet, which I can show you right up here and it works really good. This is just after the uh, install because we still had pressure in the system. Now the second thing I'd like to show you, these are the, this is the six month uh, change, these three filters. And just to kind of give you an idea of what this system does, this is the sediment filter. It's an FP15. This is the one I took out. So you can see everything that that's the first stage of the filter, what it's taking out of our water. You can actually see in the second stage, if you can look down through the plastic, it's a little hard to see, but it's white down in there. And you can see down in here, it's completely black. And you can see the last stage carbon filter that is normally white. And you can see how black that is. So in general, we've been very pleased with the system. The filter change took, oh, maybe an hour, uh, disconnecting the different tubes, depressurizing the system, turning it off, putting some silicon on the uh, O-rings and getting it all hooked back up. And then, of course, um, un you need to be sure to disconnect the hose going to the membrane so that you flush the system and don't get the carbon dust into it. But other than that, it's worked great, and we're pretty happy with the system. Thank you very much, and have a great day.